Welcome to the Gentleman's Gazette. In this mini-series about ways to lace shoes, we're going to discuss how to lace the dirty shoe. The derby is a men's dress shoe that's not as formal as the Oxford, but still very high on the formality scale, and it can be worn with suits and at the office, and um, hence you want to do your shoe justice. The easiest way to change the look of your shoes and to make them look like a new pair is to simply change the shoelaces um, and use a different color. It's unbelievable how just a pair of red or blue or green or purple or brown can really transform the whole look. And what's even better is once you have a few different colors, you can provide a different look for the same shoe and you can remove the pair of laces and put it in a different pair of shoes. Meaning you literally have endless variations of how to style your wardrobe, all without breaking the bank. First, you need to get the right kind of shoelaces. What you want is either thin cotton shoelaces that are round or they can be thin and flat. What you don't want is a thick nylon shoelace because it simply doesn't suit the character of the shoe. You want them to be the right length, about 31 and a half inches or 80 centimeters is ideal for most derby shoes or dress shoes. Of course, one of the way to really change the look of your shoe is to go with different colors. If you are in a more conservative environment, use tone and tone shoelaces. If you want to be more colorful, mix it up and use contrasting colors. Basically, the two proper ways to lace a derby or blouse shoe is to either have the bar lacing, which is horizontal and parallel, or to do a crisscross lacing, which is a little more sporty and informal. The crisscross lacing is better for less formal outfits, such as jeans or chinos or tweed. Here's how you do it. First, you put in the lace from the top on both sides. And uh, then you pull them straight and you want to make sure that the ends are the same length. So you hold it and pull through. Cross them over and come down from the top through the holes and pull through. Adjust it slightly if you want. Maybe the flat laces uh, it takes a little longer, but it, it also looks great. Okay. Next up, you always want to make sure that you have the same kind of crisscross pattern, that one is over the other. Which way doesn't matter, it just looks better if it's consistent on the same shoe. Finally, you just Tie the knot. If you want to make sure that your shoe stays really laced up and doesn't open up, uh, I recommend this way to tie it. From the loop and then you go over once and twice and pull it through. That way, you get just a slightly thicker knot, but it really holds everything much better in place. Voila! This is how the derby crisscross lace is done. The other way to lace a derby shoe is the Oxford way, with a bar lacing. Here's how you do it. Since there are four holes, you want the ends to be the same length. If there are five holes, you have one end slightly different than the other. But for the details, you should take a look at our Oxford video. Voila, the bar lacing on a derby shoe. If you want to know where you get high quality shoelaces in different colors, click the link. Check out the store and look at our selection of round thin laces in wax cotton, flat laces and boot laces. I'm sure you'll like them. Thank you.